Joining us now is Al Magordo Swimming, as uh, their season just began over the weekends, and we're joined by returning coach Colleen Moon is here with us. You're back after uh, a year hiatus. We're happy to have you back. How are you, coach? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having us here. And if you want to introduce the group that you brought with you today, it's your team captains, right? It is, and we have um, two senior girls. We have Katie Fillmore and Lauren Kane, and then we have Isaac Moon, who is a junior this year, and uh, our guys team captain. Okay. How's everybody doing today? Good? Yeah. Great. I mean, great. All right. That's what we like to hear. Um, well, Coach, I mean, uh, it's another season already underway. Got to the first meet, and the team did uh, very well in Las Cruces on Saturday, right? We did. We were really excited. We actually won the combined guys and girls uh, events uh, with 1,000 points, and that was a new record for us as far as I've been the coach. Um, we have our largest team this year. So while Las Cruces has a consistently um, – they have – some faster swimmers than we do, we won on volume. And so we are so excited to have all of our new swimmers out there and competing. And it was, it was a great experience for everybody. Yeah. And I, you know, I assume it's kind of a word of mouth with these kids getting more kids out there to the swim team. What's, what's been your feeling about uh, the increase in kids this year that you've uh, seen? Well, um, I did some recruiting myself. Um, and as some of you may know, New Mexico has a rule where homeschoolers and private schoolers that do not have a um, sports team can compete as well. And so we have recruited from the homeschool community and from the private school community with some Imago Day Academy students as well. So that's helped increase our numbers. We also have a number of kids that have had a good experience on the team in the past that have encouraged their friends to come out. And so that's always exciting to see that They've had a good experience, so, so they want their kid, their um, their friends to participate as well. Awesome. So that's good. We'll get some of these team captains involved. Isaac, how did you feel like uh, you swam over there in Las Cruces on Saturday? Pretty good for a first meet. It just tiring. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talk about some of your individual events. I saw you. You were pretty far up there on the time uh, sheet uh, in, in for your events. Which one do you feel like maybe you did the best in this week? Hmm, probably my two hundred freestyle, but the hundred backstroke was okay. Didn't break get a new record but it was really good yeah. it hurt a lot <laughs> <laughs> is that is that your favorite race the 100 back or do you have one in particular that's your favorite i think the 50 free and 100 free are my best events yeah but my non-free events it the 100 back's my favorite for the non-free okay lauren how about you how do you feel like you did in the first meet of the year um i think i did pretty well i dropped a lot mm. of time for my 200 im which was really exciting and uh, I swam the 100 breaststroke for the first time, and I thought my time was pretty good with that as well. Yeah. Is is the 200 IM your favorite event? or you? Yeah. 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 What, what is it? I mean, because obviously you have to be very versatile to be able to swim that well. Is that what you like about that? or? Um, yeah, it's easier because I'm not very good at counting 200s <laughs> like at all. So you just count by 50s. You do 50 of each stroke, and you're good to go. Just got to remember the order. That's the most important Definitely. thing. Right? <laughs> Katie, how about you had the first meet go for you? Uh, it was good. It was a lot of fun. Um, my times were around where they ended last year, so that's always good for a first meet. So I'm okay. excited. Okay. And are still are the freestyle still your your favorite? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and the short freestyle races, or do you yes. like the sprints? <laughs> okay, that's what I, I figured. But um, – and, you know, something that we always talk about with the swim team is obviously you guys are challenged in terms of trying to find practice locations. Always. And you definitely have a lot of people that are helping you out, but, you know, you, certainly we would like to at some point see something that is a more stable uh, place for you guys to be able to swim, right? That's right. We're the only school in uh, our district that doesn't have a pool now. Uh, Artesia just built a new facility, so we are the only ones that are having to go somewhere else. Um, the city's been great in allowing us to use the rec center, and they've kept it open longer the past couple years um, through November so that we can practice there, and then we'll go out to the base, and Holloman's been great in letting us come out there. But it does hurt our team because the additional drive means that we'll, we usually lose maybe a third of our team over the course of the season. We have a very long season. We begin practice October 1st, and we don't end until the end of February. And so the long drives out to the base wear on students and their families, and so a lot of them end up dropping out, unfortunately. I mean, have you had any discussions in terms of people about there, there may be some inroads about maybe building a new facility that the whole community could be a part of? or Well, I am on the Parks and Rec Committee, and so that's always a topic of discussion that I make sure to bring up at every meeting. <laughs> yeah. um, there, there are some conversations going on uh, behind the scenes with um, 
I know the athletic director has talked to some people, and um, I just spoke with somebody at the hospital today about they how much they would love to see um, a year-round pool facility. You know, for a community our size, it's definitely something that is appropriate for us to have. Um, not everybody has access to the base, uh, so so there are a lot of people here in town that don't have access to a year-round pool facility. And as you know, um, swimming is one of those activities that you can do for your whole life, yep. and it is great form of exercise, whether or not you're doing a lap swimming or just aqua size, um, just getting in and moving around. It's something that is uh, very good for the body and low impact on the joints. So it's something that we want the whole community to have access to. Yeah. So Katie, how many years have you been with the swim team now? This is my third year. And this is not unusual at all. You're kind of used <laughs> to this, but yeah. talk about how much it would mean to, to you and all the, all the rest of the pl players or all the rest of the athletes on the team to finally get that either moving or to see something like that happen uh, in our community. It would be amazing because this is my senior year, and so um, throughout the years we've moved around a lot, and especially our practice times have also moved around a lot, which has been hard because sometimes when we go out to Holloman, our practice will be from like 6.30 to 8 and because of the drive a lot of us don't get home till like 8.30 and then we all have homework and so that's very tiring and um, and like she said a lot of the teams always leave because it's such a long drive so being able to have a pool and being able to practice I think so many more people would join the team and like she said it's so good for you and so many people are interested yeah. Lauren, I mean, it, it just takes an extra bit of dedication, obviously, for the people that have been involved with this team over the years and to, to continue because of that, you know, the, the extra struggles with it. I mean, has that helped, you know, get the team to grow together, good chemistry within the team because y'all are kind of in the same boat together? Yeah, so definitely suffering brings people <laughs> together. So uh, hard swim sets and, you know, difficulty finding facilities, definitely the people who do stick with the team – definitely become closer because you're all, all like oh we had to drive 30 minutes to get here but now we're here and we're having a great time even mm -hmm. yeah so yeah isaac I mean, it seems like it's a tight-knit group you've been with the swim team for a few years and yeah. it just seems like uh, any, anytime i get a chance to talk to you y'all uh, are, are a tight group is that the way you feel about this uh, this team yeah it's uh we get along everyone gets along pretty well lots of jokes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just laughing about stupid stuff and i think it's fun it's, it's great yeah well, it's a busy week for y'all coming up this week. We were talking about it with, with Isaac and Lauren beforehand, but uh, two more meets coming up this week. Mm -hmm. um, you guys, uh, Isaac, tell us where you're headed this week. You got two, uh, you, you guys are going to be at it fast and furious. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thursday, we are going to El Paso, and then we have one day off, which will probably be a very practice. A light practice. No, not nope. a light practice. Okay, <laughs> crap. Anyway, but then we're going to Hobbs. Yeah. And the meets at ten, warm ups are warm ups are at nine, so then we have to be leaving by five. Mm hmm That's right. So time to get up at three forty five. Yeah. Uh, Great. Oh, no. And that's something else. I mean you guys the swim meets are usually very early in the morning and if mm -hmm. it's a long road trip out to Hobbs, I mean Lauren I'm sure the bus rides are part of another thing that grows the team together. Yes, but we're all usually sleeping. <laughs> so we get up, you know, 3, 4, 5 a.m., and then we all pile onto the bus and go back to sleep. Nap until we get there, <laughs> yeah. and then it's an all day event, and then we get back on the bus and nap all the way home. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> As a chaperone, I can say it's great. I was going to say the bus ride there, it's nice and quiet. I it really is. Anticipate. It yeah. is. That's right. <laughs> Katie, I mean, th you talk about the long hours in practice, but I'm sure days of swim meets is just as, it's just as challenging, right? Yeah. But it's probably more fun. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you know you're getting ready to go out there and compete later yes. in the day. Yeah. I'm sure that makes it a little bit better. Um, Coach, I mean, we've got obviously three captains here, but uh, talk about some of the rest of your team and some of the other athletes uh, we should be watching out for this year because you had a lot of different kids that performed well that, yeah, on, on Saturday. Well, we actually have one of our newest teams ever that I can remember coaching where I have lots of new swimmers they're doing an amazing job they're working hard they're learning their strokes they're they're learning the the technique involved with flip turns and starts and and everything that goes into competitive swimming and they're doing a great job at it so that's exciting to see um, I didn't coach last year I had um, coach Matha took over um, for me for when I couldn't coach last year and she did a great job keeping the team together and she was able to focus on some things that I didn't focus on and so um, coming back into it, it's neat to see how she was able to develop the team in some sprint areas that you know I'm more of a distance person myself so <laughs> it's um it's neat to see that they got some additional training um we have 
um, a number of volunteer coaches this year, which is really exciting. Um, and also we have um, an assistant coach who is a former NMSU assistant coach and um, interim head coach as well, actually. So she's joined us and it's been great to have her knowledge on the pool deck. And uh, so we've been collaborating and that's been excellent. And, um, you know, our returning swimmers are doing great. We're still right in the throes of conditioning and, and, um, you know, we evaluate all the swims after a meet and we can see what we need to improve on and what the issues are. And so conditioning is def definitely an issue right now, but we've only been in the water for a month. So I can't wait to see where we are a month from now. It'll be great. Yeah. Where are you, uh, are there particular events you think you guys have the best chance at getting state qualifying times this oh. year? Or? Well, I don't know. It's pretty early in the season. Is it? Okay. Um, um, to to see that i'd love to see a couple relays um and we'll just we'll see yeah. <laughs> uh, every year at the beginning of the season i always think wow state times are so fast i don't know how we're going to do this and every year the kids just blow me away at, at how much they improve and and what they can do so i'm excited to see it and i fully anticipate that we'll have a state qualifying time again like we have every other year so All right, who knows good. what it'll be in it'll be a surprise <laughs> Katie, is there a particular event in an individual meet that, or individual race that you feel like you have the best chance at uh, getting a state qualifying time in this year? Um, probably the 50 for you, which will be hard, but I really want to try for it. <laughs> yeah, you want to get that in your senior year? Yeah. All right. Lauren, how about you? Is there one event that you feel like you have the best chance at making it happen? Um, I don't know about the best chance, but I really want to try for the 200 IM because that's my favorite. And, yeah, I think I think I have the best chance with that one. Okay. Isaac, how about you? Where do you feel like you have the best opportunity? Uh, probably the 50 free or 100 free. Okay, and that's I know the fifty free is probably the hardest because there's there's not it's not easy to cut time in that because it's such a short race. Very true. Yeah, yeah. probably be the biggest thing there, Coach. I think one of the interesting things about and I would say the same with stuff like cross country and track and field is obviously uh, the entire season is, is a build up towards the end of the year is what you guys are, are working towards. Um, you know, what's what's your strategy in terms of obviously keeping the team motivated and keeping them you know working hard to get to that particular time or or. Uh, goal, I would say. Well, I definitely think that variety is helpful. So um, in the past, I've made the mistake of having kids swim the same events every meet, and that just gets real tiring real fast. And uh, it's harder to see your times come down when when you do that. So I'm making an effort to mix it up yeah. every meet. So I want them to swim as many different events as they can in the first half of the season. Then we'll repeat it again the second half of the season, and then hopefully they can see that drop and they can see how much they've improved. Yeah. Isaac, do you like that to get a little bit of variety where you get to switch up maybe a, a race that you don't run as much or don't swim as much? I guess so, but <laughs> um, as long as it's not the 200 IM or the 100 fly, <laughs> please don't make me do those. Um, so the then it's line, okay. Make him do that. <laughs> if you do it, I will. I'll bribe you with donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, how about you getting to do so? I mean, obviously with you doing the 200 IM, you're kind of used to doing the, all the different. It's just um, more of the longer distances are tough. Yeah, um, I my main events have usually been the 500 free and the 200 IM. So I would like to just stick with those the entire season to keep working with them. But <laughs> I know that variety is important, especially with getting all the times. Yeah. Katie, how much does variety help you throughout the season getting to do some of the different races? I love it so yeah. much because a lot of my races, since I usually do open 50 and open 100, and then I'm also usually in the relays that are also 50 frees or 100 frees, yeah. it's really nice just to do random things and just see what I can do just yeah. for fun. And then sometimes, I'm sure sometimes you see somebody you know swim a race and you go, wow, that may be an event that they're going to qualify for you just never know it exactly know. and you don't know it till you try it and so with like 100 fly nobody wants to swim that event <laughs> and it's hard to get them on board with that idea but you pick up a flyer here or there when you have them do it and i think it's just good for them to all experience it so that they can commiserate with the person in the pool that's swimming it well and i would also say with the you talked about having a lot of new swimmers a lot of them probably don't know what might be their best race at this point exactly right? yeah and um we have a general progression in how somebody goes from being a non-swimmer to being a good competitive swimmer. And, you know, it's generally 50 and 100 free at the first few meets. And then we add in backstroke or breaststroke, depending on what they what they can do. And then later on, towards the end of the first season, we'll try to have them do fly on a relay, which is only a 50 versus the 100 individual. Um, or maybe the 200 IM, if they can do all four strokes legally. Um, and definitely the 500 free once they've built up that endurance. But it is a process, and it's something that they have to work towards to be able to do it. But I think it's a great experience for them to do things that they don't necessarily think that they can do or that they want to do. Yeah. 
And I think it's also fun as well. I think we see a number of athletes that are involved in different sports that come out and do swimming as well. Katie, obviously, you're <laughs> going to be out at track coming up in the spring as well. How has you know, being a part of swim helped you when you get to, to track season later in the year? It's so nice. The endurance that I have is like so much better than when I didn't do swim. And it's swim and track are built kind of the same way so like I'm already like feeling competitive for track just because of swim meets and swim practice and a lot of the track runners and um, soccer players actually people that are more interested in like endurance have come out for tra um, swim for that reason very good and uh, with it being your senior year is you know the track is swim is that something you're interested in trying to do after high school or yes yeah for track it would be fun to do competitively and swim if I can't do track, then I would like to just do swim for conditioning. Gotcha. Lauren, uh, how about uh, you from the standpoint of, I mean, d do you do any other sports, or is this the one that you focus on throughout uh, the year? This is the one I focus on. I do some recreational distance running, but definitely not like track or co cross country. And as for doing it in college, I want to, but I definitely need to work on my times to get there. Yeah. But, yeah. And maybe some opportunities, whether it's, Getting scholarship or walking on, I'm sure just being a part of the swim team you would be, like to do, right? Definitely. Yeah. Have you started thinking about what you're planning on doing after high school yet or after uh, uh, what's what's coming up next for you, college? or uh, Competition-wise? No, or no, just like, studies-wise. Oh, you, yeah. I'm thinking aerospace engineer. So. We're certainly looking forward to everybody that's competing this year. Again, they'll be uh, headed down to El Paso on uh, Thursday over to Hobbs on Friday. And then you guys still have, do you have any other this month in, in November? or Not in November. Okay. Uh, our next meet after this will be December 7th in Carlsbad for their Christmas Spectacular meet. And mm -hmm. Carl's, that's another one of those very nice natatoriums that they it have is. across that's the state. Right. So, mm -hmm. All right. Well, best of luck to all of you all this season, and we'll look forward to seeing how the swim team does. Uh, thanks for coming in, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep, no right. problem.